Hey guys, it's Julie. It's um, I'm coming to you really late. Um, I deleted a couple of videos from the past um, because they were basically just saying the same things over and over again, and um, they weren't really saying anything of any kind of importance. It was kind of like, hey, there's changes going on in my life, but um, I can't really tell you about them right now. So I'm coming to you today to tell you about the changes that have happened um, for me recently. I'm hoping you can hear this because I've got my phone propped up against stuff and uh, it's, um, anyway, hopefully you can hear me. So what's going on in Julie's life? Um, there's been some job changes for me. Um, I'll go into more in depth with that later. I mean, it's jobs. Everybody changes jobs and, and moves things. So that's, I mean, here and there. Um, taking a bit of a pay cut in order to change the job that I'm going to, uh, but um, it was a question between my sanity and uh, and work, so um, so I had to make some decisions there. The big news is that um, Rob and I broke up, um, and we broke up at the beginning of the summer, June. Um, and um, the summer was kind of interesting. You know, Rob wanted me to give him time, let him try to make some changes. Um, the whole time I maintained that, yes, we're, we're still broken up and we're broken up until you either drastically change, which I knew wouldn't be able to happen. Um, so for me, our, our breakup was definitely June. Um, I, I knew back then that the changes that I was looking for wouldn't happen because they haven't happened in 16 years. So what would make this time any different? Um, so anyway, um, he held on a lot more hope than, than I did. I didn't hold out any hope. Uh, for me, this relationship has been over for um, a long time. And anybody who knows me in real life knows um, that I gave this relationship my absolute all. Um, sorry, one second. Uh, yes, yeah, so I gave it my all. Um, I gave him every opportunity, every chance. Um, he never took them. I have heard from his mouth literally, um, I don't think he can. Um, I really don't want to. Um, It's it's been pretty bad, and it, it always kind of was. Um, I'm not going to get into all the details because I, I'm not here to uh, to bash Rob in any way, shape, or form. Um, it was just you know it is what it is. It's it's over. It's time to uh, to move forward with my life, and it's time for him to move forward with his. And on that note, moving forward, um, I'm dating. Uh, it's it's a really good thing. Um, I met a guy by the name of Matt Matthew. Um, I don't think he knows that I have a YouTube channel. I may share that with him one day, um, or maybe he does. I don't know, Matt. If you're seeing this, hi. Um, so Matt and I have been dating for a, a little while now. Um, things are going perfectly. Like. Um, We've we've kind of discussed how um, how effortless um, our relationship really has been since um, I'm like kind of a hot mess here since our first uh, you know our first meet our first date our first uh, everything just like literally went by so perfectly um, so easily uh, very comfortable. Um, um, yeah, I'm 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 really happy. Um happier than I have been in a relationship ever. Yeah, I can say that ever. Um he is brilliant. He's very smart. Um articulate. He is considerate. Um he is attentive. Um, I can, I mean, I can go through the dictionary of things that he is, but it's um, probably mostly very equal. You know, I'm, I'm not the kind of girl who's looking to be taken care of by any means. Um, 
I am perfectly capable of getting down and dirty. I am perfectly capable of carrying things. I am perfectly capable of, um, you know, I, I can go camping and I can go to a hotel or I could go to, you know, I'm pretty easygoing in, in all those ways. I mean, if you show me how to do something, um, you know, if you show me how to do an oil change, I do an oil change. Like, I'm not opposed to doing anything. And um, what's happened, obviously, in my past is that everything was always left to me to do. So um, it's really kind of a novelty now to, um, you know, say, be caring there's groceries or something and, and have somebody take them from my hands or take some of them from my hands even is like a miracle. It never happens to me. It's like, oh, okay, there's, you know, I got to I gotta do all the carrying and all the lugging and all that kind of stuff. So anyways, um, so I'm happy. I'm a happy girl. Um, he's going to be meeting the bitches with me, not this upcoming weekend, but the next weekend. We're going to go out to karaoke and have a good time. Uh, I don't sing at karaoke because um, this voice is really good for, like, singing along with the radio in the car. Uh, not so much getting up in front of people and belting it out. I, I just don't see how that's going to happen. But um, but Sarah, and um, less of Sarah, has... A beautiful singing voice and I always like going and watching her get up on stage and sing she does a great job and Nikki has a really good voice too um, and uh, yeah we always have a good time so anyways he's gonna come with us the next time and meet the bitches for the first time uh, they've heard an awful lot about him because I've said an awful lot about him he's uh, yeah I'm I'm a pretty happy girl. Um, people are probably getting sick actually of hearing me talk about him. Jennifer for sure. I'm sure. <laughs> Jenny, I love you, Jenny. But I know she's getting sick of hearing about him because I tell her all kinds of stuff. But uh, yeah, so um, that's the big news and big change in my life. Um, it's going really well, and um, you know, I know that there's you know this period of of you know newness and rose colored glasses and all that kind of stuff but it honestly doesn't feel that way to me it's not like um it's not like a oh he's perfect and and whatever it it it's it doesn't feel rose colored glasses it it actually feels comfortable like almost like I've known him forever and like we've been friends forever um conversation is super easy um touch is super easy um everything just seems to come so naturally and um i'm saying i'm a lot i'm just thinking on my feet uh i'm just everything just is swimming it's i'm like things are good um weight wise so let me get to numbers i know you guys all like the numbers numbers uh i started to 58.4 that was when I logged in at Toronto Western Hospital. I have no idea what I was the day before surgery or the day of surgery because they didn't weigh me, and I didn't weigh myself at home because I thought they would weigh me at the hospital. So um, so I have no pre-surgery weight, no after OptiFast weight. So you guys are all going to have to just stick with the 258.4. Uh, as of yesterday, I'm down to 162.3. Um, pretty big loss. I'm pretty close to 100 pounds lost. Uh, I have to get, so 258, 158. I'm five pounds, five pounds away from losing 100 pounds. Um, that's pretty significant. Um, I feel great. I'm into a size. Sizes are kind of strange and anybody who's at this stage is probably feeling the same way. I have some jeans that are 14s they're kind of loose um they're you know kind of falling off um when i try to get into a size 12 they will do up they're a little too tight and i always seem to be smack dab in the middle between two sizes um it is what it is uh it 
I have, I'm just wearing my 14 jeans because I'm more comfortable than trying to squeeze myself into 12s. Um, but the 12s are coming soon. Uh, let me see if I can do a bit of a body shot. My room is really small and I'm actually sitting on my bed, which is like, I mean, what, maybe 12 inches from the screen of my phone. So this might not come through properly here, but I will do my best. Um, maybe if I I'll kneel on my bed, maybe? I don't know. This is not the best shirt to show you. Uh, okay. Um, okay, so here's me now. I'll tuck this around so you can maybe... I don't know if you can see. This is bad. My bra. Uh, let's see if I can show you legs. Okay, here. So, these are size medium um, running shorts or whatever. Back side. Uh, so that's me right now. Um, I still have, say, 45, 50 pounds to go. Um, so I still have a significant amount of weight to lose, but I am really happy with where I am right now. I'm quite comfortable. Um, you know, I, I, I'm never the biggest person in the room anymore, which is I, I can't even describe to you how good that feels. I actually stopped at some point even looking around the room. Like, it used to be that I'd look around the room and, okay, yeah, I'm like the biggest person here or I'm pretty close to. Um, it's now gotten to a point that I don't even look around the room. I, I, I don't compare against anybody else anymore, which is, which is a very freeing feeling, I'll tell you that. Um, NSVs, oh my gosh, guys, there's like a million of them. Uh, NSVs are, they, they come every day. Uh, from being able to sit in seats, I can feel when I, like, I just scratch my back, I can feel my spine. Um, I, I can feel my, my shoulders have some, you know, they have definition in um, my, uh, I can sit in any chair. I can, I can tuck my, my leg you can't see, I can tuck my leg up on the chair, um, like putting my knees to my chest. Um, I can cross my legs effortlessly. Um, people stop me all the time to, to tell me how good I look. And not even people who knew me before, which is kind of odd. It's like... There was a woman who came up to me today. I've met her once before, not that long ago, um, and she like hugged me and told me four times how gorgeous I am. And I'm like, okay. To me, I still look the same. I'm still me. I still, you know, like my weight has changed, but I haven't changed. The person inside is still the same. Um, You know, I think I was okay looking before, uh, but this but this lady didn't didn't even know me before. She had no idea. So, um, it's a lot. Uh, what else to tell you guys? I'm already at 14 minutes. 14 minutes. But I, you guys deserve a long one for me because I haven't put one up here in a long time. Um, yeah, clothing I'm running out of. Running out of clothes. My hair is still falling out. It's uh, I'll show you. It's not bad. Um, I've been going curly for the most part. Um, so I've been significantly losing hair for um, for a while now. For since three about three and a half months it started, and I'm six months out now, almost seven months, and still. I don't know if you can see that. Still falling out every time I run my hands through it. Um, again, I'll say, look at, can you see that? Anyway, again, I'll say 
I'm extremely lucky. I have thick, curly hair. So, I mean, it's not, it's not even noticeable. Like, there's no, there's no part that is, like, you know, balding to a point that anyone would ever notice other than me. But I can tell you I have lost easily at least one-third of my hair. My ponytail is really thin in comparison to what it used to be. Um, like, that's thin for me. Normally it would be twice or more of that size. So, um, so it is what it is. Be prepared for that hair loss, ladies, because it's coming. Um, yeah, so that's really it, guys. That's, that's kind of my big news. Um, I wasn't putting stuff on here necessarily because, um, I really didn't want to hurt Rob. Um, he's hurt me a lot through my life, but I'm not in the market to hurt people. Um, I knew that he would be really upset about me dating other people, especially. Um, so I didn't want to share it on this kind of a forum before talking to him about it. Um, and we had a discussion this weekend, so he knows that I'm dating now. Um, we were broken up to begin with, um, but you'd have to know the dynamics between uh, Rob and I to, to understand, because he he really um, doesn't want to let go, and never did want to let go, and he just kind of assumes, well, if I just don't say anything for long enough, this issue will go away, and everything will go back to normal, which it didn't. Um, so he knows that I'm dating Matt now. He's hurt about it, of course. Um, I don't blame him for that, um, and I don't begrudge him that. He, he's afraid of what the future is going to bring. But anyway, so I didn't want to put this out on a, on a public forum where that's where he would see it first. So now that he knows, if he's watching this, um, you know, he'll probably still be upset about it, but, um, but I'm happy, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I'm, I'm really happy. Um, so anyways, 17 minutes. I've got to let you guys go for now. Um, I will be back on in the coming week or two or whatever. I'll, I'll try to give you guys more updates. Um, I'm going to try to get out my tablet maybe and, and do a, a bigger, like a better uh, body shot for you in maybe a room that you can actually see me. Um, but anywho, that's where I'm at. So I hope everybody's doing great. I'm trying to follow. I, I will admit I have not watched everybody's videos in a little while, so I'll try to catch up. Um, but I'm thinking of you all. I know everybody's doing fantastic. So um, I will talk to you all later.